Come on, one more time for the people. Let's do this, Mario. Let's sequence break this sucker. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I just wanted to do that one more time just for the fun of it. Now that I beat Bowser in the Fire Sea. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I beat Bowser in the Fire Sea, I am going to go back to. Ah, pain. Yes, pain. I'm going to go back to. Uh, dire Dire Docks because I'm now able to complete the world in its entirety. See, you cannot actually get all the stars at Dire Dire Docks unless you beat Bowser in the Fire Sea uh, right next to it first. The reason why is because that submarine that you've seen in the uh, other area is actually still there and the posts at the ceiling are not. And that's kind of an issue when it comes to 100%ing that area because you need the posts to get the red coins in the in this. And did I seriously jump down the wrong hole? I mean, I, I can't believe I did that. I just went for the hole. Uh, I'm an idiot sometimes. I swear. I'm, I, I like it's like I have a train of thought for something, and then I just autopilot the rest of everything. And sometimes I just flop in the wrong area. Anyway, next star for realsies now. It is chests in the current. So, obviously, it is going to be chests combined with that whirlpool. And I always, always forget the order of these treasure chests. It just never, ever fails me. So let's just try them, I guess. I'm pretty sure once you find the right one, you just go in a counterclockwise uh, circle, and then the rest of them are in that order, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. So, anyway, let's try this chest. I can't even touch the chest. Come on, Mario. No, bad current, bad whirlpool. That, wh Ugh, that wasn't the right one anyway. The whirlpool in the center, if you get caught in it, it's a, uh, a one-hit kill, so careful of that. Oh, this first one. So that means... Whoa, 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 whoa. Go around this way, I think. And this was the one that zapped me before, right? Yeah. That, that one up there by the whirlpool is the last one I remember. I just didn't know the order of these three. So that means I should have it. Now, for that, that this whirlpool one is... Very tricky. Be very careful with the whirlpool. What you want to do is approach it at as straight of an angle as you possibly can, and so that you're as far away from the whirlpool as possible. Be careful of the shark, by the way. It's just roaming around there. Anyway, just carefully touch. There we go. Now roll. Go, 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 go. Mash that swim button. No, 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 no. No. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Next star. Coming right up. And this is uh, one of the stars that you need to get rid of Bowser's sub and make the post appear. This is pole jumping for red coins. Not to be confused with pole dancing. That's It's a totally different sport. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go back over to the sub area now, and, uh, uh, well, it was the sub area. In fact, I'll be able to show you something else. In fact, I, I probably shouldn't show you what it actually does, but I'll tell you what it does. Um, there's a hatch that's open on the left side of this area, and that's where the sub exited from. And if you go, if you decide to go through that hatch, uh, it actually takes you back outside of the castle, at the furthest away water, like not by the waterfall, over by the um, the, the pond with that weird grate. See, the, the sub is gone now, and that door is now open. So yeah, now those see those poles on the ceiling? Those would not be there unless you beat Bowser in the fire sea already. Now, if you recall, I said that the exclamation point switch over here has oops. <laughs> has um, two uses to it. At least I think I said that. I think I did when I was here the first time. This time, I'm gonna flip the camera around like this. 
Look at that, boxes on the other side now, not the ones that lead to the sub. I mean, the ones that lead to the sub are still there, but the more important ones are here. Because they lead to the red coin area. And we gotta do some tricky pulls. I was gonna say pole dancing, but no, it's pole hopping. Alright, just get the camera like this, and simply press up and down to get yourself at the height of the coins, like so. And I'm just gonna slide... I was gonna say slide down. Well, I gotta go back anyway, because there's no pole there anyway, so... <laughs> uh, when you're doing the 100 coin star, be careful not to get uh, the 100 coin star with any of the red coins up here. Because there's a glitch that actually prevents you from... Um, Way to go, PK Gam! Because <laughs> there's a glitch that actually makes the star appear too high, and it's absolutely impossible to get the star after you collect the hundredth coin because it goes too high above those posts. So, gotta be careful of that. Now, oh, post was right there, right where I needed it. Just what I needed! And I should probably go towards that side first. Oh, because there's a dead end. Of coins there. Now I'm gonna have to go back over to that shadow star, obviously. And I also gotta time myself between those two posts, which which can actually take quite a while. Uh, well, now it worked out. <laughs> All right, got that. Six, seven. No, oh, this is gonna be terrible timing, isn't it? And I gotta use the other post to get that coin over there. Oh, man. I, I could jump across it, but I prefer if they were at, um... If they were directly across from each other for safety's sake. Like this. Huh! That, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can get those... I mean, I can't get that from here, so I'm gonna have to go... Back around. Wait, which side is that post gonna be crossing over to... Oh, this side! Oh! It was too late! Why did I go for it? Now I'm gonna have to... Well, I guess it's not that bad, actually, come to think of it, because it's just one pull back over to where the Shadow Star is and the third path to the, where the last coin is anyway, so it's like, eh, well, whatever. It's, it's not like you can die easily doing this one. I mean, seriously, you're falling in water, which breaks your fall. <laughs> so it's no big deal whatsoever. Alright, last coin is inside that cage. I'm gonna fall off there, and I see they are going to be sideways to each other, so I'm gonna move the camera like that. I'll logically move forward as you go. And... Oh, oh shoot! Okay, that's fine. I know where it's gonna be this time. So. There we go. Oh, geez, went really high there. Uh, where? What is this blue coin switch to? I got another scout to sell for later. Oh, that's it. Well, those I definitely can't forget. <laughs> Too impatient to wait. Alright. I wonder if I should bother, like... Um... Like, using the poles to get back up there. Like, I th what I think I'm gonna do is just jump in the water purposefully this time. I think that'll be a lot faster. <laughs> because otherwise I'll be uh, pole hopping the way, all the way there. Now that took a lot longer than expected, but I got it. Well, okay, I don't have it just yet, but I will have it very shortly. Just gotta climb back up here one last time. Don't you dare! Camera almost demolished me. Alright, there's your star. Voila! Next star, PK Gam, do not jump inside Bowser in the Fire Sea again. <laughs> Through the jet stream! Wait, isn't this similar in name than one, the one in Jolly Roger Bay? I'm pretty sure that has the exact same name. I never noticed that before. <laughs> I guess they ran out of names or something like that. Uh, but what they mean this time in the uh, uh, through the jet stream is actually something a little bit different. You've got to swim through five rings in a row in order to make five red numbers appear and you'll be able to get a star from it. Uh, I actually think I'm going to need the... Um, 
a metal cap for that, come to think of it. I'm just kind of th thinking out loud here. Yeah, see these uh, rings that are coming up? Those are actually air rings. And you swim through five of them in a row, you gotta kind of force your way into them. It's kind of... I don't know, one... Two, oh, dang it. Maybe I'll just stand in place there. No, no, no. Ah, Mario. One. Ugh, you gotta get five in a row. Ugh, come on. This is why you gotta force yourself into them because the current tends to push you out. One, two, three. Ah, I was too far out. Okay, maybe I should start at the bottom. And, like let them. Um. Like, like, let them flow through me, per se. Eh, I can't get that close, can I? Yeah, you get air from these rings. That's why they're air rings. <laughs> Two. Ah, three. Oh, wait, wait. Dang it. Ah, this can be finicky sometimes. Stick with it, though. You're not going to get the star unless you stick with it. You must 100% the game. You must experience everything. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there we go. Now from here, I've got to go up here, and there is a metal cap. See, there's an, also a, uh, a vanish cap. That's for the, the star in the cage. But anyway, we, I need this for that star. No, don't get on the coral. Oh, just go right through the coral, right. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And voila! Here we go. Through the jet stream complete. Next star. Let's get to it right away. I think this one's right at, right at the start, actually. It's the manta ray one, right? Yeah, the manta ray's reward. We're gonna be swimming through rings again! <laughs> Isn't this going to be a joyful experience? So i got to do the same thing, except this time I think it's a bit easier in all honesty. Just got to trail the man. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Perspective is still not on my side after all. Seriously? Maybe they have to be large enough. No, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting air from them, so it's not like doing something wrong here. One, two, make some more. Three. Oh, shoot. Can I actually manage that? Four. Uh, no, I lost it. Lost my combo. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Much easier than through the jets thing. Oh, God. It, it goes there. Why? <laughs> Why? Alright, I gotta get above this thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Go! A little nerve wracking, but I got it. <laughs> and I think I'll do the last star right away. Well, besides the 100 coin star, the 100 coin star is gonna take me a little while. The last one is collect the caps. We get plopped once again into the world through the sky. Apparently the painting leads to this place from the sky, just like you plopped out from you jump in on the side, you fall straight down and you come through it. <laughs> anyway, you've seen the golden star inside that cage in an earlier uh, star, right? Or at least I hope you did. Well that's what we need the um, uh, vanish cap for in order to get inside that cage. It's very similar to the Vanish Cap under the Moat Course in that you have to use that to get a star, only you don't have to collect red coins along the way to get it. So, um, I just want to scout ahead here, because I might actually want to... Um, oh, okay, it's not... It's, it's different than what I remember it. I thought it was you need the Metal Cap to get down there fast enough and then you use the Vanish Cap to go through the cage, but I guess not. Let's get out of here. And I don't know why it's called collect the caps and you only need one cap. <laughs> like right here, I'll just be able to swim 
all the way over to that star and have plenty of time to spare. And there we go. Here we go! Woo! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.